I think a lot on the history of sculpture and, and how the language of sculpture has extended and, and, uh, and has developed in many ways. In the North Gallery, there are these pieces that actually grow from different parts of the gallery. They are independent, but they all together form like a sort of invasion, or as we say, an entwined growth, a rhizomatic growing entity that could go on and on and maybe die and grow again. In the South Gallery and also in the Side Gallery, so there are sequences that I create of uh, having very little water, having then after five minutes more water, and after five it comes from another side and then it goes. So there is a play with uh, that element that is part of the sculpture that also makes us conscious of time. And, uh, and at the same time, it reveals what is at the bottom of it, uh, under it. Um, and of course, it's part of the language, part of the vocabulary of the piece. Sculpture, I believe, is closer to drawing and photography, and uh, but it has, of course, that physical presence that uh, is never the same when you are actually in it or by it or through it. There is life uh, under anything we, we sit on and uh, this is a, an idea but is also a consciousness.